and welcome back to Breath of the Wild Champion's Ballad. We are in the darkness, deep in the dark shrine. Hey look, I'm Dark Link! <laughs> oh goody, timing and darkness. My two favorite things. Weep, 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 weep. Oh my gosh, am I making King's Horse? Hey, okay, I was about to say, why can't I stasis that? That's bullcrap. Give me, thank you. Lucky for me, I have a little bit of. Uh, what would you call it? Experience with Dark Shrines? Based on the fact that I'm so used to that. Crap, that one dark area. You know, with the Hinox and everything. Great way to do that one is just target a Hinox on your Hyrule Compendium. And it works out great. Yes, I am bypassing the shrine by hugging the walls. Another way to light up a room. Throw a light bulb. Or just set giant major flames of fury on life. That's fine. We're fine. Everything's okay. We're fine. If I keep saying that, maybe I'll believe it someday. Uh-huh, this looks way too easy. Told you it looked too easy! No you don't, no you don't, no you don't, no! Bad. Bad sentry. Sit down. Bad sentry. That actually looks amazing. I'm almost disappointed they give you all this light in the end. I kind of wanted to go in the dark. I'm kind of cooler. If you remember last episode, I was convinced it was going to take me 10 or 20 minutes to do this. Yeah. It's taken 310 according to my clock. I think I'm getting way better at this game than I was last time I did this. And I'm very sure that this is only the second time I've done this. <sighs> then again, this isn't the hard try, not really. When you understand that I have a really hard time with timing, you'll get a clue about which one's the hardest if you've played this. I wonder if those little... What do you call those? Icons? are more of the size proportion to how big each one is. I really do wonder how they look side by side, proportion wise. Hey look, I'm back here in the cold with a keys on the way. That's not fair. Keys and choo-choo's aren't supposed to exist at the same time. Choo-choo's are supposed to be in the morning and keys are supposed to be at night. Okay, it's night. I'm okay. I'm running away from the keys. I'm okay. It's all okay. We're okay, hero. <sighs> Temple of Time, Eastern Abbey. Nope, Temple of Time. Yes, I remember which one's which. At least as far as the monsters go. Oh. I'm shivering in me timbers. Oh 
look, the nice bright glowing light of Hylia. You know, I totally want to go see her just to hear what she says. Excuse the detour. Oh, fun fact, I don't know if you noticed this, but there are six around here and seventh in the middle. Anybody recognize what that means? Ocarina of Time, six sages, and the seventh sage. Yep, yep. This one's fun. I tried doing this from the top of the Temple of Time. It didn't work last time. Oh, do you see it? This is definitely going to require a bird elbow. Come on, a little closer. A little bit closer won't hurt you. Come here, come here. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Dick. Okay, that's a fire lazafo, so we do an ice arrow, he'll die immediately. That's a stall horse, which if we take that to the next area will give us quite an advantage if we choose to accept that. It's a challenge, but it, but it also helps. You do extra damage on top of a horse. But you're also risking charging in there with a horse. No stealth. Just a lot of Leroy Jenkins. You know, I wonder if I could just do that. I wonder if it'll roll far enough. Well, that was impressive. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I don't know if you saw it, but there's a stall horse guy who spotted me. What a dick. At least get up here. Give me some high ground. If you're wondering how I have this angle, it's from a Gerudo bow. They have long shot on them. They're basically sniper bows. I don't know if you see that lizard. He's chasing his tail like a dog. <laughs> oh my Lizalfos. Did you stop turning away so I can get that crit on you? Thank you. Now let's see if I can hit Los Alfos and do the one shot. That was awesome watching the ice arrow leave our quiver or bow like that. <sighs> let's watch it again. Like that. Poof. And with a bit of smoke, he's gone. <laughs> what do you think? Bomb arrow? Regular arrow. For the guy in blue? Hey, blue tard. I'm sorry, that was a reference to red versus blue. I can't help myself. I love my references. Oh! Holy horsey crap. Meep! Meep, beep, beep, meep, beep, meep, 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 No. Leap off. Ooh, 
right in the face. Okay, what am I missing? Where's the last enemy? I hope I don't have to kill the stall horses. He's trying to attack me with a Korok leaf. Okay, where's the last enemy? Yeah, let's do a sniper shot to the face. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright. Worst comes to worst, I have that Fenric ball back at the other places. Let's switch over to a decent royal bow. No, I'm definitely not going to the other place. I was wondering if I should just take that stall horse, run off to the next place. Then I realized it won't do me any good at the next place. Maybe the first place, sure. Maybe, just maybe the f second place that I went to. But no, not the other ones. So, major test strength. Uh-huh. That seems way too convenient. He's only got two weapons. That's not that hard to dodge. Flurry rush. Goodbye. What else do I want? Nah. I'm sure, I'll take the Guardian Plus Plus shield. Excuse me while I quickly take a picture of all these. I already took a picture of that. I already took a picture of that. Cool. Don't need that anymore. I just did that for the weapon connoisseur. <sighs> it still seems way too convenient. I really love this whole theme of the Unity, how they keep bringing back... I don't know what you call that, the waves? The swirls or the bubbles? Back across most of their ID, most of their decorations. See, it's right in here. You see it in a lot of the darker spots in a lot of shrines. You'll see it on the outside of the shrine. Find a lot of cool stuff here. Really gives that feeling of unity that the Sheikah were the ones who did all this. Uh huh. I said, too convenient. I wonder if the Sheikah were the ones who made all the other temples in the previous games as well. It's obvious that all temples and dungeons were just a chest for the hero or a place for people to come worship. Aim for the eye. Oh! I got the eye. I got my eye on you. That hit you right in the face. What 
kind of crap is that? You really want me to obliterate him. I know you do, Nintendo. And I dislike the fact that you, like, want me to. Pfft. Didn't even have to hit the guy in the eye. I probably didn't hit the other guy in the eye. Uh-huh. I'm not taking a risk and losing to the shrine. Thank you. Appreciate it much. I'm such a loot hog. It's like, I don't really need it anymore. Come on, this is technically the end of the game. I'm never gonna go horror off hunting or anything, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's just something so satisfying about- What the hell?! I want you to bet as soon as I really- Wow. Somebody really wants to get Link's pants. He wants to kill him for trying to sleep with the presence of us. I'm really afraid to let go. I'm gonna try and go up and open a chest. So hopefully I don't get hit by that laser beam that's totally gonna hit me. I know it's going to. Don't tell me it's not. It's totally going to. See? Gotta say something about that perfect dodge, though. That's a, that's a glitch I never experienced. And I've experienced quite a few. Glad I happened to bring along a guardian shield. I guess it did give me one, but I didn't realize it reflected him quite so well. I just realized by the lack of this that I have Rivali's gill and everything, and all those times I spent climbing and you spent watching was probably unnecessary. I was gonna stay right here and see what they do. Okay, that's badass. You know, the way I did this previously was I put up a bunch of cryo pillars to keep them from attacking me. And I would go and eliminate them one by one, usually by pushing them off the edge. Think I'm gonna do that again. Yeah, my shields do have the damage anyways. Let's put this up just in case. Okay, you can't hit me, and I can hit you. Bye. <laughs> oh no, he landed on his feet, didn't he? <sighs> that that hurt. That physically hurt. What hurts even more is that I totally deserved a harder than a face face palm. Come on, let's get on with it. At least they gave me the key back. That's something. Do I have to worry about one of you over here? Yeah, I can just go straight through. Thank you. Gotta make sure not to go put it under them. That's always an experience when you do that. Like that! Friggin' A, man. Friggin' A. Now what? I'll just let you murder yourself to death. Well, that's one way to get him off the pillar.
Goodbye, fond friend. Hey, that time he didn't land on his feet. That's something. Ooh, yeah. Now that's how you're supposed to do it. In my humble opinion. Humble? I don't know if that's in Hero's Dictionary. Sorry, we were just making fun of that earlier. Like, how did you make that thing work on Bethesda? Yeah, cause she's magic. Well, no shit. Wow, you're humble, aren't you? <laughs> Some reason I just make things work sometimes when I work in IT and things like that. By work in, I of course mean fix whatever bricked this time. On average, I say I had to fix my phone or my computer or some application probably once a week. Maybe once every two weeks. Things just go wrong with me. Must have one of those uh, electric fields around me that just dis disable devices or something. That just makes devices not like, a, not like me or something. Yay! I really should have gotten rid of that one spirit orb so I didn't have four and then five. It's gonna be mildly infuriating, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, we're gonna stop here and then go on to the bane of my existence on the next episode. I am so excited. I'm so excited I'm talking through guarded teeth. But seriously, thanks for so much for watching. Please subscribe as always. I really appreciate all of you for watching. Thanks so much.